What's up everybody, Cruz Ramos here with Dungeon Boxing Club. Today I got my son Christian with me and we're going to be uh, going over a footwork drill that we like to perform here at Dungeon Boxing Club. One thing I like to tell the boys and girls here is that it doesn't matter how hard your opponent hits, doesn't matter how fast they are, doesn't matter how strong they are, if their footwork sucks, then you have an advantage over them. So I'll be walking you through a grill that we laid out, a, a pattern that we use here at the club, and then Christian's going to demonstrate as to why this is effective when in the ring. All right, so what we got here is I just took some strips of duct tape. Um, I prefer the Gorilla brand because it sticks really well to all surfaces. And all I did was I took three strips about seven feet long and I placed those horizontally across the floor here. And then I took uh, four more pieces approximately five feet long and I put those over the horizontal pieces. So each square is approximately 20 inches by 20 inches. So we're going to have Christian here demonstrate how to properly set your feet for this drill. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the front foot is right in the center of the square. Okay, so we'll go ahead and scoop back a bit there. And you want to make sure the front toe is right on the outer edge of the tape right here. Okay, that is very important. And then the back foot, we're going to have it on the other side of the tape with the heel right on the edge of the tape. Okay. Now this is extremely important because if he has both his feet on the same side, then he's not going to have the proper balance to let off his punches. So go ahead and show us what it looks like having your both feet on that side. Okay. So right there is what, what I like to say he's too lined up. Okay. There's not enough balance. Okay. So if you were to get hit, he's going to move, he's going to sway, he's not going to be able to hold himself steady. Now if he gets his, his feet in the proper setting, Okay, we got one on this side, one on that side of the tape. His body's turned, so he's a, he's a small target. He's not leaving himself exposed. And if he gets hit, he's solid. He's not gonna go anywhere. Right, so now that we got the proper footing in place, we're gonna demonstrate what it's like to move using this grid. So in boxing, what I like to teach is that you always step first with the foot closest to where you're going. So if Chris is gonna go forward, he's gonna step first with his front foot, which is his left leg, and then push off of that back foot. So go ahead and show us what that looks like, Chris. Perfect. Same thing when you're going back. So in this situation, he's gonna step first with his back foot, which is his right leg, and then he's gonna push off of that front leg to give himself the proper distance. Go ahead, Chris. Well done. Now we're going to go to his right side. So he's going to step first with the foot closest to where he's going, which is his right leg, and then push off with his left leg. Go ahead. All right. Now he's going to go to his left. And that's really it. As you can see, it's a very simple grid to set up. Very simple drill to run. Now it may take you a few practices to get used to the movement, but with time you'll get better at it. One quick pointer is make sure that you're always landing in the proper foot setting. Okay, now if your feet are coming too close together or they're too far apart, then you're not gonna have the proper balance. And that's what the tape is for. It's there to guide you, so use it. I uh, just want to say thank you guys for joining us. I hope this video was informative. If you do us a quick favor, if you would hit that like button, hit that share button. Make sure you stay connected with us on Facebook and YouTube as I'll be putting out content every week demonstrating some of the methods that we like to use here at Dungeon Boxing Club. Contradiction. I end up a misfit trying to fit in. This ends when I stand up and see the hands of the standard. Holy is the lamb, huh? Now we holding you the man up. Cause we were made in this image. Start looking at what you came from. Right after Adam, every Adam and I.